We have a fun episode today to celebrate our favorite holiday of some of our guests. So Chelsea Miller and Kelly Dolph, um, welcome to the Happy Halloween episode. Hi. <laughs> welcome. So Halloween has been celebrated for centuries as part of cultural and religious celebrations and rituals on All Hallows Eve, when the dead were believed to be allowed to come back to Earth. It's very interesting to see how Halloween has evolved. Amanda, would you give us a brief history of this spooky time of year? Sure. So in the early part of the 20th century, Scottish and Irish immigrants brought some of the rituals that have been celebrated for hundreds and hundreds of years um, with them to the, um, the United States. And it, part of that included dressing up or guising, as they called it. And um, you would go door to door and perform tricks in order to get treats. Um, this had happened even in the Middle Ages. This has been going on for um, hundreds of years. But by the 1910s and 20s, a lot of those treats had turned into fruit. Um, and um, especially with World War II, as that progressed and the de well, Depression and the World War II, sugar was hard to come by. So fruit was your natural sugar. And so um, but with the post-war boom in the 1950s, we came to people started wearing costumes for fun and kids going trick-or-treating door-to-door for candy. So by the post-war boom of the early 50s, what we see now has started to evolve into our Halloween traditions. Yeah, and here to tell us a few, a little bit more about current Halloween traditions, um, I'm gonna just dive in and go with uh, Chelsea. Um, as terminal manager for LAP, can you tell us ways you celebrate Halloween at your terminal? Yeah, um, we don't do a whole lot here, but I do try to get like candy for the drivers and we pass it out usually like the week of Halloween and everything and they always get excited. Truck drivers and free food, so they come <laughs> in and we'll get them candy bars and all kinds of stuff and they really like it. I love it. Well, and you're at the office today and you're dressed up. Do you usually go to uh, to work on Halloween dressed up if it's on a work day? Uh, no, not usually. <laughs> Just this is like your regular, your regular attire. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly regular. And then um, the hat that I had at home. So. Well, it looks fantastic. I love your costume. Thank you. And Kelly, what about Wentzville? Do you guys do anything special for Halloween? Well, you know, we, I have a hard time getting folks to dress up, but uh, we do like to get some 50% off candy on November the 1st and uh, you know so that's usually how we roll so we've been eating a lot of candy lately that's how we celebrate that is wonderful you, candy is a great way to celebrate Halloween so that's the best part right right costumes let's just go straight to the candy <laughs> you guys like um Chelsea do you decorate your house much for Halloween um, I don't have a lot of Halloween specific, but I've got like an ungodly amount of pumpkins. Like, so I leave it all during fall. Um, but yeah, I have, I have way too many. I have to stop myself from buying. There's like pumpkin candles and all kinds of pumpkins. And um, they're just like in bowls everywhere. My husband hates it. He's like, stop buying pumpkins, please. <laughs> Yo. <laughs> Is there really such a thing as too many pumpkins? I don't think there's too many pumpkins, but yeah, I leave them out until um, after Thanksgiving. So that way I don't have to change them out too much. I like that. That's yeah. It's, it's uh, how we, man and I were just talking about that the other day. It's a, uh, you decorate for fall. You're good for several months. You decorate for <laughs> yeah. shorter. I just trying to convince my family that some of the Halloween decorations are Thanksgiving decorations. Right. <laughs> Uh, Kelly, have you ever dressed in costume before today to work? Well, um, I was thinking about that. And I remember my first Halloween that I was here at Jack Cooper and I wore like some kind of headband thing with like some stars and, and everybody was like, no, we, we don't really do that. Here. <laughs> but, you know, hey, I was trying to keep it fun. I wore a little something festive, but no, we don't usually dress up. Oh, darn. Just the candy. Yeah. You know, our capes might get caught on something. We have to do safety first. Safety That's first. Understood. <laughs> yep. So, Kelly, why is Halloween one of your favorite holidays? 
Um, well, you know, I love to dress up. I think I always loved to dress up when I was a kid. And, um, so that's just, I love Halloween and well, I kind of like candy too. So it goes hand in hand. All right, Chelsea, what is your favorite Halloween tradition? Um, really haunted houses, probably. I am like a sucker for haunted houses and we do like the extreme nights, like we hardcore get into it. And Louisville surprisingly has like a lot of different haunted houses. And especially if you get into like, um, occasionally we'll take a drive towards like Indianapolis or Cincinnati, there's a lot up through there too. So there's plenty that we can visit. I'm so scared for that. I'm way too afraid of haunted houses. No. Yeah. Oh no, we do. We go hardcore. We do like the extreme night where you have to like sign the waiver and they're like, don't wear clothes that you want to come out in. Oh, <laughs> wow. Keep... I was going to say, has that changed over the years or have you always been interested in haunted houses? Or... Um, no, when I was younger, like in high school, I wasn't too big into them. I was terrified. But like as an adult, I love it. And it always like kind of freaks people out because when I get kind of nervous I laugh so I'll just be like walking through the haunted house laughing while the people are trying to scare me and they like panic so then they try to scare me more and it's just I can't I'll just sit there and laugh and people are like what is wrong with you <laughs> I signed a waiver you're gonna have to step up the game <laughs> what about you Kelly have you do you have any Halloween traditions? That I would say Halloween tradition for me at my house is Halloween. We have a big pot of chili and chili dogs. And then we put on our costume and we go out and get a pillowcase full of candy. Now, unfortunately, that was back in like 1980 something that that was our tradition. Now, it doesn't seem like you get a whole pillowcase full, but, you know, we do pretty good. How long do you trick or treat for? As long as they'll take us but I would say you know nowadays everybody rolls up the carpet about you know eight o'clock in our neighborhood so yeah. um, but in the olden day we used to go out all night <laughs> oh, sure. that's fun well Chelsea have you ever participated in a Halloween costume contest um I haven't but I put my dog in one one time and she didn't win the costume contest but she won giving out best kisses Oh, that's way better. Yeah. That's cool. oh, that is really cool. Kelly, how about you? Did you ever do a, have you ever tried a costume contest before? Yeah, I've done a few. Um, one of the ones I remember that I did, I think I got first place or something. It was, uh, I did Jackie Kennedy Onassis. I actually wore these same glasses for that costume. Oh, I could see that would be stunning. Which outfit? Um, it was like the green tweed like suit, you know, instead of the pink suit, it was like green tweed. It was really perfect. Um, and then my other favorite, which I'm going to send you guys a picture of my homemade robot costume. I'm not sure if I won anything, but it was a box with tinfoil and I even covered my boots in tinfoil and I had antenna. It was very crazy. I so, have to see a picture. And I was a whole entire grown adult when I made that costume. Of course. Oh, <laughs> uh, yeah. I love it. It was super cool. That was probably one of my favorites. Oh, that's uh, yeah. Please send in a picture. I'd love to see it. That sounds amazing. And I don't know, Chelsea, if you have the picture of your dog when they won Best Kisses, I would love to see their costume there. <laughs> don't know if I have the one where she won Best Kisses, but yeah, I'll send in plenty where I have a ridiculous amount of dog costumes too. So I've got a bunch there. Yeah. I've got one that um she loves costumes and so there's so many of her and then one of my other dogs is she's not about it she's like yeah. please get this off of me right now <laughs> that's my dog all right so best Halloween candy mm. what do you guys think I like dots oh I'm kind of an old-fashioned but I like the fruity tooty ones yeah yeah I interesting <laughs> i would trade those i would i would have traded dots for something else yeah. i would have traded dots too <laughs> i like um i my specific halloween candy i don't really like candy corn but i love the pumpkin ones the pumpkin shaped ones yes yeah they're like pumpkin shaped little candy oh, corns yes. i don't 
I don't even know that they taste different and they're not like super great, but I feel like every like year for nostalgia, I'll buy like one and I'll go through that. And I'm just like, okay, this is great till next year. (laughs) I always like the caramel, like the, the caramel apple suckers. They're like green candy Mm -hmm. and they have the caramel over them. I always loved those. So I would trade you those for you know, you could have my dots and I would take and and I would take. <laughs> we'll definitely have some of those on 50% off candy day. Ooh, fantastic. <laughs> and Amanda, what about you? What's your favorite? I was going to say, I, I'm pretty standard. It doesn't matter what time of year it is. I'm a Reese's Pieces girl. That so, was actually the very Halloween, right? E.T.? Mm-hmm. Um, um, I don't, I just love, they're like the perfect candy to me. They are. I, that was actually going to be my second one. I love Reese's Pieces. Oh, it has protein, so they're really healthy. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh, gosh. Well, now we know how much you both love Halloween, and obviously Amanda and myself as well. So now we're going to test your Halloween knowledge and play a round of spooky <laughs> trivia. So I'll ask a question. Either of you guys, either of you can answer. Um, so the first question. Who provides the spooky monologue at the end of Michael Jackson's thriller? Mm, I can't say that I know, but that was my first cassette tape. I have no idea. (laughs) His name was Vincent Price. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Bonus question. Do you know who um, directed The Nightmare Before Christmas? Mm -hmm. No, no. Uh, most people think it's Tim Burton because it says Tim Burton's name, but it's that it's based off a, a poem he wrote um, in the '80s. But it's actually Henry Selleck is the director. But a lot of people think that he directed it, so I didn't know if you wasn't you know. Tim Burton, but I didn't know who it was. <laughs> this this is me watching probably that movie way too many times, but it's great because it's a Halloween and Christmas movie. All right, um, so Chelsea, you might know this one. What is the most popular Halloween costume for pets? I bet it's like one of those weird ones where like, I can't stand the costumes where it looks like a full-size person with a dog head. (laughs) Those like creep me out where it looks like a tiny person like skittering at you. Um, So I hope it's not one of those, but I have no idea what it is. (laughs) It is, Kelly, do you want to take a crack at it? I'm going like, hot dog that is actually supposed to be number two which i kind of think that might be more but it's supposed to be pumpkin oh okay all right but hot dog and like bat and bumblebee which were like all like right Right. there those are all such cute costumes for dogs yeah Mm -hmm. i have some of the bat wings um for my dog when she was a puppy but she outgrew them Oh, that was cute though. Fran, my dog, when he was a puppy, he went as a pumpkin for Halloween. I'll have to see if I can find a picture. Um, it was really cute. It was a little light up jack o' lantern face and everything. So that was the only costume he's ever worn on Halloween because now he's. Oh, that's cute. All right. So where does the quote double double toil and trouble come from? Some kind of Halloween cartoon thing. Ooh, so. Now I- I thought it predated that, but I don't know the origin. From the, um, if you guys are Shakespeare fans, Macbeth. Oh, yes. Oh, I did. I read that one yes. time. Yes. I love yeah. that. And if you watch Harry Potter in the third movie, they sing that in the beginning. So yeah. kind of like towards the beginning of the movie. So oh, I'm much Harry Potter fans. <laughs> All right. I think we just have, okay, a couple more left. All right. What's the most popular Halloween costume in the U.S. according to Google? I'm going witch. You're correct. (laughs) It is. It is a witch. Very good. And and Chelsea is, you know. Representing. Right in line with that, yeah. Representing. Okay, this is one for us Americans here as we're talking about candy. It's so important to us. How many pounds of candy do Americans purchase every year for Halloween? Hmm. Well, probably 20 pounds. I think, think big. So uh, not per person, but like as the U.S., the whole U.S. Okay. 
do you think we purchase every year? Oh, the whole entire United States? The whole yes. entire yeah. United States. Um, I mean, it's like, like a million or more. <laughs> yeah. That would, billion? It's closer to 600 million. Uh, <laughs> it's nuts. Oh, gosh. You know, we like our candy here. Mm-hmm. And that's just for Halloween. It's not that bad. Mm. It makes my teeth hurt. It, <laughs> it's funny. Nice so the average amount of candy somebody eats, because Man and I looked this up too, it's not 20 pounds average per person in the U.S. It's 3.4 pounds. But still, it, on Halloween night, though. On Halloween. Just on Halloween. 3.4 like, pounds. That's a lot of candy. I was like, I want to know, because I don't eat that much candy on Halloween night balancing that out for me one um one last question for everyone do you know roundabout or when the fun size candy was introduced in the united states fun size Mm -hmm. i'm going with sometime in the late 80s all right chelsea do you have a guess i'm going over i'd have to say the 80s too because I think it predates me. I remember getting fun size as a kid. Yes, it um it does. It's it, it came out officially with the official name fun size in 1968. Oh wow! Which I was surprised by that. I was thinking it was closer to um, late 70s, early 80s too. But um, but the the reason the reason behind it was interesting is that Americans were already starting to become kind of health conscious. And so they weren't purchasing full size candy bars as much. And they've had smaller sizes came out during the depression and World War II because of the sugar shortage, but they weren't marketed as fun size and they were a little bigger actually. So they made them a little smaller and they made a cute little name. And then um, they started being able to sell those more. So very interesting. That is very interesting. Well, a big thank you to everyone, all of you, Chelsea, Kelly, Amanda. Um, Today was so much fun. um, And I really appreciate everyone sharing with us what makes Halloween spooktacular. Too cheesy, sorry. Uh, So we hope you enjoyed this special Halloween episode of Let's Talk Jack, and we'll see you all next time. Happy Halloween. Happy Halloween.